The first ever UCI Gravel World Championships is this week in Italy. I'm in Colorado, but my buddy Sebastian Brewer is over there both working the race and racing the race. Sebastian just recently won the Badlands Ultra Endurance Gravel Race, uh, 780 kilometers. He did it in 43 hours. Leo Wilcox won the women's edition because, of course, she did. I wanted to talk to Sebastian about, hey, what's this course like? It's certainly shorter. You know, there's two different courses. The men's is 194. The women's, you know, 140K. If you're interested enough in gravel to be watching this, you know there's been a lot of uh, angst about the two different courses. People asking why have two different courses. Uh, we don't really get into that so much. I just wanted to know about like what the course itself was like, you know, how it compares to you know, what he did in Spain and uh, you know, what it was like compared to, say, Unbound Gravel, which he did for the first time. Sebastian has probably my favorite post-Unbound <laughs> photo uh, from this year. Take a look at this, where he just uh, had finished 16th uh, in his first go at Unbound Gravel 200. Anyhow, I just uh, had some questions for Sebastian about what the Gravel World's course is like. He answered those, and then we're going to check back with him next week after he does the, the race about uh, how it went for him. Hello Ben and hello to my friends in the US. Right now we are sitting in amazing Italy for the first UCI Gravel World Championships tomorrow. Yeah, the course, I think it's, uh, it's not a special one because there are quite a lot of flat roads and just a few uh, single trails with some bumpy, bumpy stones and yeah, nothing too special, not too much climbing. I think it's going to be a really fast race. Some days ago we did the reckon of the, of the course and in my opinion it's not really compared to, to Unbound for example because at Unbound you have that really wide roads and uh, that really long roads and here it's a lot of cornering and yeah, some single trails and narrow roads I think. Yeah, for me there are two goals. First of all uh, I'm here for, for Schwalbe as a liaison manager and uh, that's a big goal to, to win the professional race with Ivar and Jasper. But yeah, my personal goal is maybe to look for a medal in my age group race. Yeah, I think the big favorite for the race is Mathieu van der Poel and some guys from the World Tour, but never say never. So just don't forget about uh, Ivar and Jasper. Yeah, compared to, to Badlands some weeks ago, uh, the World Championship is a really uh, short race with 180 k's. So the training was quite different, uh, with really short and intensive intervals and some rest after Badlands for sure. I think the critical point uh, of that World Championship course is uh, in the beginning, uh, two smaller climbs with uh, some single trail downhills with big stones. So you really have to be careful with your tires and your bike not to crash and to destroy your equipment. And afterwards you have to be, yeah, I think you have to, to look for, for the other guys and yeah, wait and see. I decided for the Schwalbe G1 RS in 40 millimeters because it's uh, the fastest uh, combination of, uh, of all the tires in our, on our range for this race. And yeah, you really have to take care of, uh, of the big stones. So regarding puncture resistance, and I think the RS is the perfect, perfect tire for this race. Yeah, I decided for, for my age group race and not for, for the pro race. Um, even um, my federation, my German federation gave me uh, the dis decision um, to take part in both races. But yeah, I'm not a professional bike rider. So I decided for the age group. Yeah, now we are really ready for the race and after the race I can give you some more insights about uh, the first UCI Gravel World Championships. See you again.